Yo, what's up? Uh, it's Duran. Uh, you might be like, what the fuck, Duran? This is the same intro from the last video. I'm recording this in the same night, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do the, uh, the bitmap, bitmap glow, bitmap to whatever, photo, you know, kind of cool effect that I use in some of my, in my merch and posters. Um, and I've also got a lot of requests for it, so I'm excited to show you guys that. And as always, if you enjoy the contents of this video, be sure to hit subscribe down below. Um, enjoy. Yo, uh, what's going on? Um, like I said just a second ago, um, in this tutorial I'm gonna go over how to do uh, the bitmap uh, glow effect that I have in a few of my posters. Um, this is one example of it. Uh, you can see when I zoom in that the glow around this uh, character's head is uh, bitmapped, it's in pixels. And again, in this poster, um, I mean, in fact, the whole pretty much graphic is bitmapped, um, including the glow, which is pixel by pixel. Um, and it's a really nice effect. Um, and I, I, it's one of my favorite, actually. I use it uh, sparingly, but when I do use it, um, it does produce some great results. So let's go over how to do this. Uh, so first example, I'm going to be going, I'm going to be over two examples, by the way. Um, just two different ways to use it pretty much. The first example is going to be uh, this one. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how I made this. So I have the original uh, picture right here. Um, it's just a uh, <laughs> some picture of a soldier that I grabbed um, off the internet and a picture of a VR headset. They also grabbed off the internet and I added a, uh, you know, US Army star over there. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and bitmap this. Um, so a lot of people don't know what bitmapping is and neither do I. <laughs> I don't know the, you know, whole mathematics behind it, but I do know how to make the effect in Photoshop. Uh, so first things first, once you have your image, um, whatever it may be, um, you're going to want to create well, actually, I, I should mention this, that the canvas and resolution that I'm using, the size is 16 by 20 at 300 DPI. Uh, I said this in an earlier video, but this is what I use for everything. And especially for merchandise designs, this is very important is to keep the resolution at 300. Um, this, the width and height, um, there's some debate to be had, but I just use 16 by 20 all the time. Um, but most importantly, the resolution, keep it at 300. Um, especially if uh, this is a general rule, if anything is going to print. Um, so if you're, even if you're going to print this as a poster resolution, make sure it's 250 or above, um, or 200 and above. I use 300 just to be safe. But anyway, so, <laughs> um, once you have your image, first step you're going to want to do is add a glow to this. Um, so I'm going to add a glow, go to the planning options, double click, and it's going to be an outer glow. Um, so don't mind the color right now, uh, just make sure the color is white, 100% white, and the blend mode is normal. Um, so set the opacity up all the way, actually it doesn't really matter as long as it's above 80, but I like to put it up all the way. And basically get the glow that you're aiming for. So for this text example that I have, that I did the bitmapping on already, uh, it seems like the glow is pretty big. Uh, has a pretty large size um, and you can play around with this the size pretty much controls how far the glow disseminates and then the spread uh, controls I guess how pungent or how thick it is um, so yeah you can play around with that when you use these settings uh, which I find to be to work well um, so yeah now we have our glow I'm gonna go ahead and render this press ok and duplicate the image, duplicate your image, so Command-J. Um, so on this second layer, uh, if you want to turn the fill uh, all the way down to zero. The reason you turn the fill down and not the opacity is because the opacity affects um, both the, uh, the image and the layer styles, while the fill only affects uh, the image. So it's going to leave the layer style uh, intact. So if I hide the original layer, you'll see that it only shows uh, the layer style, which is the glow. Um, for the original image, 
uh, just go ahead and turn the effects off so that there's no double load here. Right, so now uh, your next step is going to be to create a new document uh, at the same size, same resolution, same everything as your current document. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I have a preset saved. I'm just going to wait for this. Right here. So I'm just going to name this bitmap. Um, and change the background color to black because that's what it is in, in this one. Um, so once you've done that, go into the outer glow layer and right click and hit duplicate layer. The reason I do this instead of command J is because when you bring up this duplicate layer panel, um, it allows you to choose the document that it's in. So go ahead and choose the new document we made, which I named bitmap. And it's going to transfer this layer right into here, same spot and everything, which is exactly what we want. Right, so once you've done that, um, you're going to want to change uh, the image mode to grayscale. So go to image mode and turn that to grayscale. Uh, just click flatten. Doesn't matter. Discard. Um, and the reason we, we put the glow as white is because once you change it to gray, uh, once you change the image uh, mode to gray, it's just gonna go black and white anyway. So don't uh, put a color on the glow until after. Um, so now that you have it in grayscale, I'm gonna go back to image uh, mode and then bitmap. Okay, so this is the important part. Uh, the method I'm gonna use diffusion dither. Uh, that's just an algorithm um, that basically, I don't know the math, <laughs> but uh, it, it makes the effect um, that we had in, in, the, in the preview image. So the most important thing here is the output DPI. So, I mean, you can play around with this, um, but there is something to be said. If you're going to screen print uh, whatever design you're doing this to, make sure that the output DPI is no more than 100. I'm not going to use 100 because um, I'm going to go around like, I don't know, 50 for this just because um, it yields larger dots and it's a nice style that that I like. Um, but yeah, you, you can play around with this and see. Uh, but basically, the larger the DPI, the smaller the dots. So I'm going to go ahead and use 50, 50 pixels per inch. Press OK. And you see that we get these nice, this nice dotted pixel by pixel glow. Uh, and now to transfer this to your uh, your other document, you can't do it uh, directly because we changed the image size to 50. So if we transfer this into our other document, it's going to be really small. So we have to change this back to 300. So put it to 300 um, and make sure that your resample is on nearest neighbor. So that's just going to make sure that the pixel uh, pixels aren't blurred or sharpened in any way. Um, and that the resize, you know, true to their, their jagged edges and whatnot. You get the edit. Uh, so press OK. Um, and now we have it uh, right back up to size. Um, go ahead and change your image mode back to grayscale so we can work in this document. Just press OK. And once you've done that, uh, duplicate this layer uh, back into the uh, original document. And it's going to duplicate it in the same place, which is perfect. So once you have this, it's like your magic wand tool. Oops, I'm not using the keycaster. So press W or just go here, uh, click your magic wand tool and make sure anti-alias is not checked. Make sure contiguous is not checked and select all the black in this image and delete it. Perfect. So now we have our glow. Um, we still have this, this glow from before, which we can just hide. Um, so now we have our, our bitmap glow on this image and it's looking really nice. Uh, so to add a color to that, I'm just going to go into the blending options and go to color overlay and blend mode to normal or multiply to really matter. And I'm just going to set that, set that to this, uh, this nice green that we have here. Perfect. Um, so now I'm also going to do the same, uh, to this image. So same process, same everything. Um, <laughs> I hope this isn't getting redundant. I'm still on the first example, but uh, duplicate your. Um, actually, no, you don't even need to duplicate it. Um, back to message command you duplicate it directly into the other document by right clicking and duplicate layer. So go to the bitmap document, 
Boom. It's right in here. I'm going to hide this background. Or actually, I'm going to fill it with black. Um, so we get rid of that, that glow that we had before. Um, and when I do bit mapping on this, um, I like to turn on, on images, I like to turn the uh, contrast up a bit. Uh, just because I feel like it, it's a, it gives a nicer effect. So I'm going to just turn the contrast up quite a bit. Um, and then we could uh, select the image again and go to image mode. Oh, it's already in grayscale, whatever. So image mode, bitmap, um, and same process. Just change this to 50 or whatever you want. 50 is good to me. Yeah, so this is what, <laughs> this is what happens when uh, the contrast is a little too low. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back, punch, command Z, and just uh, mess around with this contrast by using levels. That should be good. Something like that. I uh, just want, you know, pretty high contrast generally. Um, so yeah, image, mode, bitmap. Okay, okay. All right, so this is um, not the same exact um, as this image. I don't really remember. I made this a while ago, so I don't remember exactly what I did. Uh, but I think it's close enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and bring this back into our document. We can, can change the color of this. So I'm just gonna copy over this layer style by dragging it to this layer while holding Alt on my keyboard or Option. And boom, so we have the same uh, color effect applied to that now. Perfect, so that's basically it. And what I like to do and what I did here is I added a, uh, a little drop shadow, which um, isn't really necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just for the sake of the tutorial. Um, so go into your image that you had, where the glow is. Um, make sure the fill is still at zero. Um, and uncheck this outer glow, we don't need that anymore. Just go into the effects and choose drop shadow. Uh, make sure the spread is at 100, the bend mode is at normal, and then the distance of the size is what you're gonna play with. So I'm just gonna put that up a little bit and make sure that the color of the drop shadow is this nice green that we have. Um, so that just gives like a nice kind of halo um, under the image, um, which I like a lot. Yeah, so this is the first example. Um, here it is with a nice, oops, nice photocopy overlay on it. Um, so I hope you understood that, and I hope I see it <laughs> in some of your designs. I think it's a really cool effect to use. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the second example um which this is where we're going to be replicating it's the same exact process um but on this one i believe that you i believe i use two separate um uh, two separate glows here uh so one of them is a i mean you'll, you'll see when i do it uh, it's much easier to, to explain by doing i'm going to go to this head image right here and do the same exact process with the glow Oops, I duplicated. So I duplicated Command J, and then do the same thing with the fill, turn it to zero, um, and then get the glow. So, add a glow right here. I'm um, trying to spread up a bit. Side all the way up. Nice. So now I'm gonna go and um, duplicate this glow into our bitmap document. But then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be a little bit faster on this one, just because uh, I'm hoping you get the gist by now. Uh, I'm gonna go over it again just to make sure. Uh, so duplicate into here, image mode bitmap. Um, I believe this one I used a larger DPI, probably around nine or so. Um, perfect. It looks good to me. Um, so I'm gonna duplicate this. Actually, I'm gonna change the image size first. Resolution 300. Duplicate this back into our oops, image mode grayscale. Then duplicate this back into our, our original document. And same exact thing. Delete all the black. And we have our glow isolated. Um, I'm gonna hide that just so we have just our glow. Then I'm gonna put a color on this. I believe I believe I kept this one as white actually, right? No, this one is bluish. So I'm just change it to 
nice vibrant blue. Um, and then we'll do the same exact thing uh, with a smaller glow and then keep that one white. Uh, so it's like a nice kind of gradient. So I'm going to use this same uh, no fill uh, glow layer that we had. And this time I'm going to go in and edit the outer glow to be a bit smaller. Maybe turn the spread up a bit. That looks good to me. Perfect. And then duplicate this right back into our original document. Nice. Now we're going to delete all the black once again. And I'm left with this uh, nice gradient. Actually, let me hide this glow that we did. Alright. And now we're left with this nice gradient of one bitmap glow to another. Um, pretty simple process. Uh, it's just a matter of getting the hang of it. Um, but once you do it, it is a really nice effect to use in your designs. Um, so yeah, uh, that's basically it. Um, I did a, I did a little, a little bit more glow on on the actual poster with this uh, these other elements, but I'm pretty sure you get you get the gist of it now. <laughs> uh, I don't want to you know kill you with fucking bitmap tutorials, but uh, yeah. So that's basically it. Um, let me know if you want. Let me know in the comments if you want a more in-depth video on this or a more in-depth video on anything I do. Um, I'm really keen to make some more tutorials. I'm gonna put, the, put them out there for you guys. So just let me know. Um, and if you like this video, if you learned something, please make sure to comment, uh, subscribe, and like the video. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Peace.